This is the unit test example from the slides. I copied that from the Python documentation. We import the module unit test that is provided with Python and define a class test string methods that uh, is part of unit test test case. In that, we define three functions, test upper, test is upper, test split, where we are evaluating the functionality of three functions that exist for Python strings. So first, test upper tests whether or not the function upper works that converts all the characters that are inside of a string into all uppercase. So this foo, all spelled lowercase, with upper applied should be equal to all uppercase foo here. And then we can also check that it is true that the function is upper, which checks whether or not all the characters in a string here are all uppercase. Uh, returns true. Uh, so for this function to work, apply to the string, it should return true. Uh, apply to this string, which has some lowercase characters, it should be false. And the last function to test here is the split function. We define a string, it's called hello world. And the split function without any arguments separates a string um, by white spaces and returns a list that contains the elements that don't have any white spaces at each index. And the last case here was that it should raise an error if we give it an argument uh, that is two, here it's a number. Uh, so the first argument that you can hand to split is the separator that you know, if you don't like white spaces, if you want to separate everything with an L, um, you can do that by handing here a string or a character like so, but it shouldn't work with numbers. So that should raise an error. That's the functionality of this function. Okay, slight difference to the Python example down here to call unit test main, uh, we need to add a few things because we are working in an interactive environment, not on the command line. We're working in Jupyter Notebooks. So uh, we need to give it an argument list, uh, which otherwise would be a sysargv. And we don't have that because of the way we are executing the script. If we try to access that, the fault value, it would raise an error. The verbosity, we crank up a little bit uh, to get some more output. And then we don't want things to exit at the end. I have some commentary here in the notebook that I now delete so you can easier see the, the output of this, but it will be in the examples folder. So if we run this now, we get some output here. Um, it runs the test is upper uh, in the test case string test string methods, and that is okay, it works. Uh, so this is equal. Test split is being run, uh, this works, and test upper also works. If we set the verbosity to uh, something smaller, uh, all we get then is that the three tests were run and it's okay, um, but here we can actually see a little bit more detail. What we could try is to break that. Uh, and an easy way to break that is messing up our uh, comparison strings here. So if we add a typo in our unit tests, obviously that is problematic. Uh, so they need to be de debugged themselves. But what we see now is that we have a failure here, right? So um, it actually tells you there's an assertion error, foo is not equal to foo with a lowercase o that happens in the line six in test upper where assert equal isn't working right. So if you read those error messages, you can actually find of where the problem is, and they can go back to the code and 
fix this. And hopefully you don't do this where you're putting a zero in and this will be kind of difficult to detect because it's almost looking the same. But again, uh, that indicator here should tell you that there's something wrong with the last character. So we can fix that again. And there we go. Something else that could go wrong here is that we're messing up our uh, assertions. And again, we're getting a we're getting a fail here. And here it says that assert false foo is upper. Um, so that should be wrong, but it is true. Um, that tells us that our test case actually is wrong and now everything works again just fine. 